What's up everyone, we're back in the kitchen. Today we're making ramen. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know I love my ramen. Every different city I go to, I have to go find whatever like the best ramen place is and I absolutely love it and I think it's about time I try and make it here in the house and I'm gonna try and make it as cheap and easy as possible uh, because if you have kids in the house, uh, you want it done quick and you want it to taste good too. So um, everything here is pretty much uh, what I had in the house already, except for some fresh bok choy and some fresh cabbage. And I had to go get some miso and I went and got red, uh, real miso. Um, I know there's a couple different color options there. I don't know what the difference is. So what do we need? Sesame oil, soy sauce, sriracha. Uh, I'm gonna do four cups of water. The packaging is basically two cups per package. So I'll base it off of that. Um, butter or basil, red meat, like I said, bok choy, cabbage, an awesome cut knife, a fork just in case, a little spatula, and an apron, and me, but I, you, I can't come, I'm gonna be on your phone, so, or your computer, so um, we're good enough. And a big pan to cook it all in. So I went for kind of like a big saute pan, or a wok pan, or whatever you can, a little frying pan or saucepan works probably just fine too. Um, let's get to it. So I'm going to add, let's put my sesame oil in first. And I'm going to kind of eyeball everything today. Half a cup of sesame oil, half a cup of, <clears throat> half a cup of soy sauce. Let's get that. I think, you know, you can adjust your flavors, uh, as you go. Um, some sriracha. If you want it spicy, then I would definitely opt for more sriracha. There we go. And we'll leave the butter for now and I'll add my miso. I'm gonna do approximately two tablespoons of the red miso. So there's one and two. So, um, and now uh, I'll get this on the grill. I'll add my water, my four cups of water. Ooh. That looks good. Kind of give this a quick little stir. And um, now I will get this on some heat and start to get this simmering while I chop up the bok choy and the cabbage. Oh, wait, I don't want to be in it. Okay, we'll get that on high. <clears throat> That little stir. I'm gonna add a little bit more sriracha because I like a little spice to mine and a tiny bit more soy sauce. And kind of the general idea here of creating our own size sauce. So we'll see how it goes and we can tweak it, but this is the start of something awesome. Chop up my, let's get that out of the way here. Chop up my bok choy. <clears throat> I'll get a couple of that at the end. And my cabbage. Again, I think it's all gonna be personal preference. If you like a lot of cabbage in your ramen, add a lot of cabbage. If you don't, don't put any in at all. I'm kind of in between. I like having veggies in my ramen sometimes. Sometimes I don't like veggies at all. So I guess this is gonna be kind of a miso-based ramen um, with obviously the soy sauce to taste. I will add my base cell in once we get to a bit of a simmer. And uh, let's check on that. Once you get your broth up to basically a rolling boil. Now add your cabbage and your bok choy. So I'll do this. Like so. Looks good. Let that kind of cut a little bit more cabbage actually. Yeah. 
I have my butter. Once you've added your bok choy and your cabbage and your butter or margarine, um, bring that back up to a boil, let that simmer for a bit, and then add your noodles. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna lay mine in like so, so I can get that nice long stringy bit. Let that sit there for a while and keep the water. And you're gonna wanna keep the broth kind of a rolling boil um, while you cook up your noodles. Leave these noodles and let them boil in until you can kind of unfold the packs like I just did. And then let that boil for just a couple minutes until those noodles get to that al dente, which is still kind of chewy, but a little firm at the same time. Uh, Cause keep in mind, it will keep cooking as it sits in the bowl before you eat it. All right, and last but not least, add your noodles in. That's looking good. And if you want, you can put on a few fresh uh, leaves or cabbage. And last but not least, chopsticks. And there you go. Your quick, easy, cheap ramen. That took maybe all of literally 15 minutes and uh, from basic stuff I had around the house. And um, it looks, looks awesome. I like it. It's actually better than I thought. Wow. Holy shit. <clears throat> I mean, I'm a little biased, but like, this is really good. This actually turned out, holy shit. <laughs>